how to make a turntable recording. Okay, so this is make, basically making a movie out of your model, your scene. And it's just going to spin around the floor center point here. Okay, that's this green line. So you need to have floor turned on so you can see that. It is not going to show up in your render like that, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, and again, thanks Maya for letting me use this model, even though you don't know I'm using it. It keeps me from having to make something ugly. I can use something beautiful instead. Anyway, you go to the movie menu, clearly, obviously. Um, movie, okay? And we're going to be doing a turntable movie. I'm not going to click that yet. As soon as you click that, it starts making the movie, okay? And like a lot of things in ZBrush, it's, you're not really committed to making it until you save it after you have tried this out, okay? So we'll do that in a sec. Um, but you do want to pay attention to these two things, okay? This is full window recording, and this is the default. That means it's going to record all of this stuff too, all the tools, all the menus, other things like that. And part of the reason they have that in there is that you can do you know step-by-step -step things with showing you know tutorials and stuff like that. But for this turntable, we just want to use the document window. So we're going to go back up here, click Dock, okay? Um, same place, you have the option of large, medium, or small. I'm just going to do medium at this point because I don't want it to take forever to do, okay? Um, so once you, once you click turntable here, this is going to start turning and making the movie, okay? Or making the preview, I should say. Um, if you want, if you don't like it and you want to adjust something like the position or things like that, what you need to do before you press turntable again is click delete, okay? Because once that movie is made, it's kind of sitting there waiting to be saved, okay? So if you don't do that, it's going to just keep showing you the same thing over and over uh, rather than making a new one, okay? Even though it'll go through the motions that you're not going to see anything different, okay? So that's the one confusing thing you need to pay attention to. Okay, so I'll just click turntable here and then I'm going to let it go for a few seconds, but I'll pause it until it's done because it'll take a couple minutes to do. So turntable click like so and boom, here we go. I will pause and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. Um, so take a look here. So now what I want to do is play my movie, see what it looks like, okay? So I just click play movie. It's going to show me this. So you can see the tails kind of sweeping out of the screen there. Maybe I would like to fix that. Um, I'll play it again here, it goes kind of fast. And I've also got this ZBrush thing sitting here and I've got another ZBrush logo fading in and fading out. I'm not crazy about that either. So I need to adjust things as well to clean that up, okay? So first thing I'll do is go to Movie Delete. I just want to get rid of that one, okay? No, I don't want to save it. And I'm going to go back to Movie and I'm going to look at Modifiers. No, I'm going to look at Overlay Image. That's the ZBrush logo. And I'm just going to take this opacity down to zero, okay? And you could put your own image in here if you had an image. It's basically just a texture that you'd load in. Um, for some reason, you can't turn the texture off when it's the ZBrush thing, so you just have to set that to zero. The other thing that was showing up is that title image, and this is a fade in, fade out thing. Here, I'm just going to try that again. Turn that off to zero, zero. Hopefully that will work. Okay, like so. Um, and then I'm going to reposition this guy a little bit. I didn't like the tail flying out of the screen. Although it's not that big a deal. Okay. Another thing you can do just to let you know is you can go to document and you can change the background color if you like. Um, so you can pick up whatever color is down here by just clicking back. You'll see it picked up this kind of red color. Uh, you can also click and drag to pull whatever kind of color you might want. In your you know from wherever on your screen including the color picker here okay another nice thing you can do so if I just pick this dark dark gray like that you can also then go to range here again I'm in document and drag this to create more of a gradient feel which can kind of highlight things it's pretty nice you can control the center and where this thing is um, going that kind of thing as well how fast it moves so there are a bunch of options that you can do that, that'll kind of, you know, make things pretty. Okay. So when I'm ready, I'm just going to go back to movie again. 
Since I deleted it already, I'll just click Turntable again, and hopefully this time we'll get what we're looking for. I will click that, and I'll be back in a minute. Three to be exact. Okay, I'm back. Actually, it only took two minutes. There we go. Okay, so back to movie. I'm going to play this, see what it looks like. There we go. Yeah, nice, nice. So it picked up the new background color. It got rid of the logos. Um, and it just is showing again the document window here, um, which is, you know, essentially the, the best thing you want. And you'll see it's not picking up this weird stuff up in the corners, which is nice too. So when you like it, when you're ready, after you've noodled around with things and messed with things, um, you can then export it. Okay. And if you want the highest quality, you click this H and then you just click export and you stick it wherever the heck you want it. I'll just call this Maya movie. Maya Dino. Not Dion, Dino. There we go. Groovy. Okay, you see it goes pretty quickly. It exports it, and now I've got a movie in there that I can then do whatever I like with. And that's part of what you're going to be turning in for your concept project. Okay, so play around with that. It's fun, it's nice because it gives your, your work kind of a nice professional appearance. Um, that's great for portfolios or, or putting online or Instagram, whatever. Um, it's kind of cool. All right. So there you have it. Turntable movies.